Hey boys and girls, Pov Life here. Now today we are just gonna have a little drive and just meet up my friend um, Harrison, who's in the Black Integra. And we're just gonna get something to eat and you know just talk to you about um, the new part I'm getting for the car actually and yeah some other things, some new videos coming out for the channel. But yeah, so let's start the car up and let's go. Australian, it's Hungry Jacks. Um, yeah, now I don't if you guys don't know about that and why it's called Hungry Jacks in. Oh, that sounds weird. Okay, yeah, but the reason why it's called Hungry Jacks in Australia is because. When they actually wanted to establish Hungry Jacks or uh, Burger King, sorry, in Australia, the name was already taken. Um, that's pretty much the reason why they couldn't actually um, establish the name is because there was already another company in I think it was Brisbane, Queensland, which had the name Burger King already established. For their private shop, the private just burger shop, burger chip shop. There's something rubbing on the back. I don't know. Hearing some rubbing. Could be just a stiff suspension, stiffer suspension. So yeah, that's the reason why. And then they actually had. There was actually at one point in Australia where there was. Um, both Burger King and Hungry Jacks in Australia, which is hilarious, actually. I mean, basically, they are identical. They're pretty much identical. There's nothing really different about them. Same menu, same design, same themes. They all just had the same stuff. So, then eventually, the people who ran... Because Hungry Jacks was actually a franchisee of Burger King, which is funny enough, so... Yeah, that's pretty much the story of it, and now they just have Hungry Jacks because just to defeat the confusion and all that. So yeah, Hungry Jacks, at the end of the day, I'm sorry I've been rambling on about this, but at the end of the day, Hungry Jacks is Burger King, Burger King is Hungry Jacks, done. So I bought a new part for the car, um, the, new, the new part for the channel, which is, should be here by next week. It's the Unorthodox. Unorthodox lightweight pulleys that I bought for the car, and that's gonna be good. I bought that from the US, so they should be arriving pretty soon. I think it should be by next week. Um, so, yeah, it's an alternator and a crank pulley. Um, we're just gonna basically get the car to s the, 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 the benefit from them is just letting the car, um, I guess rev faster if I'm trying to say it, it, it tends to make the car rev easier so yeah I'll be on I'll do obviously I'll be doing an unboxing of it um and I'll try to get in a maybe an install video or a review and impressions uh, uh, it really depends on how I feel Must be wondering why do I always take this away when I'm going to, f to the, this kind of area? It's because I, I I know it's a bit more longer, but it just gives me a more opportunity just to talk to you guys, and that's the reason why I'm like you know. Also, I'm not I'm making another car discussion video about all this stuff that's been happening with the Ford Focus RS, the publicity. That this car has gotten, which is ridiculous. It, re it really shows what Australian media is at these days. 
Um, it's gonna, I'll be breaking, I mean, this is just pretty much gonna be in a nutshell of what's going on. Basically, the Four Focus, the new one, the 2016, has a drift feature or a drift mode. Um, and basically, what the media, in particular, a channel called Channel 7, a broadcast called Channel 7, is saying is that this will encourage hooning behavior. And the thing in Australia is they love to this, especially all the media outlets, they like to just label any car enthusiast related thing with the label of hoon, which is completely incorrect because a lot, probably like 80% of us, car, 90, even, not even 80, 90% of us, of us car enthusiasts are not hoons. We don't do this stuff, we don't trash and destroy our cars. But there are the percentage that ruins it for us. But that, I think the labeling on the media's part is very incorrect. I, I don't think they should be labeling things as a hooning feature, a hooning this, hooning that. My second point is, you know, well, firstly, I, it's it's not aimed towards that kind of demographic. The demographics are incorrect. And thirdly, there's this guy called John, what's his name? John Cadogan. And he basically literally thinks that this is the wrong thing. And he's supposed to be an auto expert. Now, obviously, I'll put this to another video if I go more in depth with it. I, I mean, I'll, I just would love to talk about this guy's, to talk about this whole topic with you guys because this is a very, very interesting topic and it's stupid. But obviously, at the end of the day, all this stuff is just giving good, this good media publicity to Ford and the Ford Focus. I mean, at the end of the day. It's it's great, um, just great publicity. And if I was for it, I'd be loving it right now because I can already tell that pre-orders and things like that are just gonna go through the roof. So yeah, you know, it's gonna be pretty, pretty, pretty nuts. Actually, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to seeing them on the street. They look really nice. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much that. Now, obviously. I'll go in more detail for video, but yeah. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just gonna uh, like that. Well, that's the main two things of what I'm gonna be doing on the channel next is that there's not gonna be a, oh, it's gonna be a good discussion about this whole issue. So yeah, we just stopped at the traffic light right now, so we're nearly there, um, we're pretty much nearly there, so, yeah, so that's the main two things I've we'll been talking on the channel, just that video about this Channel 7 media coverage of this car, and how stupid it is, and basically the, the new part that I'm getting for the car, the police. So yeah guys, we're at the Hungry Jacks, um, we just arrived, so, and the reason why the video cut out was because it just ran out of battery, guys, the, this, it just ran out so I didn't know what to do so yeah but I'm here now I'm actually here in the parking lot and I'm safe <laughs> so yeah um, that's pretty much the end of the video I'm just gonna wrap it up here um, hope you guys enjoyed it you know obviously it's that's just telling you what I'm gonna be doing in the next couple of days for the channel just you know the part and the discussion about that channel 7 media coverage of the new car which is I love the car but this is just really ridiculous. And from a car view's point of view, it really does make you kind of cringe. So, yeah, um, that's going to be good. And, oh yeah, and thank you guys so much for 100 views on the Josh's Rexy video. That was so, just, I didn't expect that actually to get 100 views. But I'm, I'm so thankful that you guys actually got it to that point. Um, 
and yeah like i just feel so happy but yeah so basically yep yeah, we'll be making a new rexy video because of that um i just need to meet up my friend and we're gonna just make one it's gonna be pretty good but yeah um that's pretty much it guys i'm gonna stop talking and rambling on um stay frosty like share comment and subscribe and you know just keep supporting keep supporting because you know the more support you know the more videos come out the more videos come out and it's just great to make videos for you guys because i love it so yeah enjoy it um enjoy your day and yeah but live out peace <laughs>